Mr. Speaker, I must regret that I do insist on the point of order. In my opinion, the pending amendment violates Clause 7 of Rule 16 of the Rules of the House, which requires that an amendment be germane to the matter it is amending. It is not germane to the bill because Section 3 imposes a mandate on state insurance commissioners and Section 4 amends the Public Health Service Act, which is, in fact, beyond the scope of the base text. Does anyone else wish to speak to the point of order? I do, Mr. Gentleman Speaker. I would like Jersey to hear on the point of order. Speak to the point of order. Mr. Speaker, my understanding is my friend, the Chairman's objection, is based on the principle of germaneness. The underlying bill, by its very title, purports to protect Americans who have received a cancellation notice uh, for a policy that they want to keep. Now, there's a disagreement here over how to protect those Americans. The underlying bill. Uh, does not have requirements that state insurance commissioners act to protect those individuals. Our plan does. Our plan does. Now, this is a disagreement over the means to protect American consumers. The underlying bill says we'll trust the insurance industry. Our bill says no, we'll enforce the insurance laws. I would respectfully submit this does not rise to a difference in germaneness. This is a difference of opinion. The, the bill on the floor uh, purports to protect the Americans that I talked about. We think it doesn't. Our plan does protect those Americans in a different way. The underlying matter of this bill is how do you protect Americans who wish to keep the insurance plan that they have? We believe we have a more effective way of doing that. The majority disagrees. The House deserves a vote on that. No technicality. No procedural nicety should deny us the chance to take a vote on whose plan is right. We should proceed with this vote. Does anyone else wish to speak to the point of order? Seeing none, the chair is prepared to rule. The gentleman from Michigan makes a point of order that, that the instructions proposed in the motion to recommit offered by the gentleman from New Jersey are not germane. Clause 7 of Rule 16, the germaneness rule, provides that no proposition on a subject different from that under consideration shall be admitted under color of amendment. The bill permits health insurance issuers that offer health insurance coverage in the individual market on January 1, 2013 to continue to make such coverage available for sale during 2014. The amendment proposed in the motion to recommit in pertinent part requires state insurance commissioners to examine notices of health insurance cancellations or conversions. It also addresses the regulation of health insurance rates. Specifically, the amendments delineates what would constitute inadequate notice of cancellation or conversions of health insurance coverage and directs state insurance commissioners to investigate such cases of inadequate notice. Additionally, it permits the Secretary of Health and Human Services or the relevant state insurance regulator to, to take corrective actions if health insurance rates are determined to be excessive, unjustified, or unfairly discriminatory. Such corrective action may include the assessment of civil monetary penalties. The bill does not address any of those subject matters. Instead, it is confined to the subject matter of extending into 2014 the authority to offer health insurance coverage that was for sale on the individual market in 2013. The chair, therefore, finds that the amendment proposed in the motion to recommit goes beyond the subject matter of the underlying bill. It is therefore not germane. The point of order is sustained.